In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of March, 2020. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. The Church celebrates the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. First reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14, and chapter 8, verse 10. The second reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 4 to 10. The gospel from St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. I read from the gospel. At that time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at these words and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, has herself conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, nothing is impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be an announcer of good news. Be an announcer of good news. Today, dear friends, we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, the announcing of the good news of the birth of a Savior, 
Jesus Christ by Mary. The archangel Gabriel brought the announcement, the great news. Behold, Mary would conceive and bring forth the Savior of the world. It was such a great news, a news of great joy. Talking about announcing great news, immediately a similar event that comes to mind is the news announcing a new pope elected after a conclave. The white smoke pulls the crowds to St. Peter's Square and everyone is waiting for the announcement. The cardinal, bearer of the news, that moment he appears on the balcony of St. Peter's Basilica to announce, his presence is greeted with euphoria because all know he is a bearer of good news. Then, we understand what scripture means when it says, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Romans chapter 10 verse 15 and Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7. The cardinal's words are, I bring to you news of great joy. Annuncio vorbis gaudium magnum. Then he announces the name of the cardinal who has been elected as new pope and the name he will bear. Dear friends, this is the great announcement Archangel Gabriel brought to Mary. A great message from God himself. The Annunciation was such a good news that changed not only the lives of Mary and Joseph, but the entire world. The angel said to Mary, Rejoice, you will enjoy God's favor. The Lord is with you. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. This great news, this announcement brought great joy. It was an announcement that marked the beginning of a new era, the era of our salvation and liberation. Dearly beloved, ours is a world where only bad news is news. Our ears and eyes are so attentive to bad news and our mouths so quickly spread bad news. The television, radio, newspapers, journals, and social network especially are mostly propaganda machines of bad news. And I ask myself, is only bad news news? That moment people see breaking news, all they expect is bad news. And I tell you, if you say breaking news and you tell them something good, they sigh and he's away. A man or woman may have done 99 good things. No one talks about it. Social media does not spread it. But that moment that very man or woman does one bad thing, their names and pictures circulate over all WhatsApp chats, even in countries not their own. Their faces flood Facebook and become cover pictures on the status wall of some people. Then they become lead stories on all news outlets. And people begin and are so eager to share and laugh. You don't hear. You don't see them. Make a send them for you. Have you heard? Have you seen? Let me forward to you. Dear friends, by today's feast we are invited to be carriers, announcers, and channels of good news. Lots of good things happen than the bad, but we pay more emphasis on the bad than the good and magnify evil over goodness. Some people will never greet you or ask after you or wish you well, but will quickly forward a bad picture to you. The moment they remember you is when there is bad news to share with you. The way we share bad audios and obscene pictures, if only we could share the gospel of Christ in such manner, I tell you, then the gospel of Christ would have reached the ends of the earth. Let us be messengers of good news. Let us be announcers of good news. Bring joy and glad tidings to people's hearts and lives. Be another Archangel Gabriel, the announcer of good news. Refuse to share bad news and be a propagator of bad news, rather a messenger and carrier of good news. 
Let people see you and start rejoicing because like the cardinal who appears at the balcony of St. Peter's Basilica, they know you are a bearer of good news. Amen. Assignment for today. Make it a duty not to open your ears and eyes and mouth to bad news. Secondly, be a sharer of the good news and a messenger of the good news. Let us pray together with Pope Francis to our Blessed Mother, especially during this pandemic of the coronavirus. O Mary, you shine continuously along our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross were near to the pain of Jesus, keeping your faith firm. You, help and intercessor of all people, know what we need and we trust that you will provide for those needs so that as at Cana of Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and took up our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious Blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy feast and be messengers and ambassadors of good news.